Hey guys, uh, True Knight again here. Uh, so like I said in my last video tonight, I'll be doing a profile on Necros in 2022. Uh, by no means is this a tier 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 deck right now. It's <clears throat> very obviously Rogue, but uh, one of my favorite decks of all time. So. Let's get right into it. Starting out, we got our three Unicorn. Uh, shuts down extra deck monsters. The must when it came back to three. A lot of people were excited. Really hope this deck really it came back in fashion. But um, this being a pure Necros build, we haven't decided to go with any other Dogmatica or uh, Shell engines. This is just pure Necros, so uh, staple of the deck. So we got Rionic, again another staple, um, is a great searcher, also it's deck, it hurts, so effect is pretty insane to spin back two from the extra deck. Uh, we got Colossus, great card, goes and searches your spells uh, for whatever you need. The one of uh, this is my favorite deck of course, like many others, but um, banishing from one field hand in uh, Here, but banish effect is great, and then the last effect to prevent negation or prevent targeting is another great effect. Um, this is your battle fader plus really huge guy plus draw power, and your craziest guy going first. You always want to go into. Uh, I decided just to one run sure it. A lot of people run two. I think one is just fine for right now. So we got our spells, the summons using monsters from your hand or uh, extra deck. This allows you to get guys out or girls out of your grave and on the field. And finally the last mirror, um, this is your great going to for uh, Trishula and great going uh, getting cards to tribute from your grave. Three prep. I'm astonished when I found out this came back to three. It's always bread and butter of this deck. Manju, can't go wrong with it. Um, the extra deck does play a lot of rank force, so this is a great card to use to help. Now for the defense of this deck, we got a Baylor. Like I said in my last deck, uh, this will be a main deck item until tournaments gets destroyed. We got Bistials. I'm keeping on with this train. I think this is a great uh, engine to have in your deck. I think that if you're not playing tier land, this is a great engine to have, period. Got the one reinforcement. Great to grab Colossus with. Uh, again, I think taking your opponent's stuff and using it against them is the ultimate mind trap and a great way to beat the opponent. I think there's room to play this in this deck. Uh, this is a glass cannon, but if you get stopped in your combos, this is a great thing to set and say go. And finally, evenly matched. I think with all road decks that are not tier element, this is a great card to main deck because you will be behind most of the time against that deck. So this card being this powerful and having the ability to just flat out stop your opponent is a great way. Extra deck. extra deck I didn't really put a lot of thought into because you don't really use it except for things to use as uh, summons and there is a couple of ranks that you go into. So we got Herald. Uh, once you use this as part of a um, summon, you get to search off of it. You can use this again with Kaleidoscope. These are the targets to use with Kaleidoscope. Uh, your rank fours you want to go into, this is your best bet right now. <laughs> Again, great card to go into turn one if you don't really have any plays and you're not playing against tournament. Probably a good card to go into. Uh, you will be behind again a lot, so you gotta use this. Again, cards that are just toolbox necessities. Uh, going in time, giant hand because you can never have enough effect negation, and if you need to get rid of this power trap. Uh, finally, for side deck, we got three uh, droplet. Again, great powerful card. Lightning. I don't think you can ever 
not have this right now. Um, just four too crazy right now, and this is a great way to come down. Uh, spells are nuts as well. You want to be able to stop them. Again, tournament is the thing, so you gotta have ways to stop it. Um, and then my one ofs, I want to go into one of the most wackiest creatures at all times, and my spell and trap stops. Uh, that's it for Necros. Again, it's a pure build. It's not really anything to uh, be too worried about. It's not a deck that's in trouble or a deck that's causing a lot of mayhem or anything like that, but still a fan favorite. So um, keep eyes out again, guys, for more videos in the future. Probably going to do more Sword Soul stuff with creativity and what we can do to combat Tyrant and how we can stop it. Um, but yeah, let me know your thought process. and. Uh, any tips or anything like that on deck building, I would love the criticism or the tips and tricks. Um, I will be doing videos and deck profiles of people in Colorado, so be on the lookout for that. Alright guys, I hope you have a great night and take care.